Hello truckers, welcome back to American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. We are in Victoria, Texas. Just leaving the rest area a little, like quarter past six in the morning because we got a late run in last night. So I went to bed a little bit late. So getting up just a little bit late in the morning as well. Uh, we got ourselves a job right across the way. I'm going to try to get across this light. Make sure I don't get hit by that truck there. That's not the way you want to start a video, but the way it's been going in Texas, uh, why not? Uh, we're coming on down. I almost went into an invisible wall, I'm sure. I need to turn in here. And we're going to Corpus Christi, Texas this morning. I don't know how long of a drive it is, uh, but it's more than the 100 miles I need to go to do the external contracts. Yes, external contracts. I got four more to do, then we can start taking those regular loads. At least I'll have my personal goal done for getting the special paint jobs that I don't use. But it's always nice to have them. We back on in here. Uh, I think it's live cattle that we're taking. I just damaged uh, my truck a little bit there. Didn't think I hit it that hard, but I've hit things harder before. All right, so what do we got here? We got uh, live cattle. We'll just say 35,000 pounds going to Corpus Christi. Going to get paid about $1,000 for it, so uh, that's all good. 153 miles. Should get there. Well, you can see, about, it says 930. Somewhere around there. So as I'm recording this, I'm recording this on Tuesday, the 22nd of November. Uh, the coast to coast map apparently is all linked up. Uh, I downloaded it and got it up and going. Just be aware if you do download it and uh, put it in your mods folder, it's going to revert you back to your home garage. So make sure your deliveries are complete. And uh, because I had a, you know, I, I started this, started the the game day, and I uh, I was in Salt Lake City, so I had to teleport on down here so we can get going. Um, questions I've been getting asked quite a bit. Where do I get the coast to coast map? Link is in the description below where to go to it. That'll bring you to the forum page on the SCS website, and uh, right on the first page of the forum, the first the first post is from the mod author himself. It'll bring you to where you can download that. Uh, let's get going here. Alright, so we are on the road. So Corpus Christi, of course, is a place we have not been. Uh, we're traveling down the east coast of Texas, heading south. And hopefully we can knock off at least two of the cities today. Uh, today might be a short day, because we've been working long days and... Maybe make up for it. Try not to go long days. We've been doing, ever since we've been in Texas, quite a few long days here. So, we'll see what happens. Like always, wait till the afternoon. So, yeah, the first uh, first full episode with a W900. A lot of you seem to like uh, the way it sounds. Uh, the way it looks. I know I like the way it drives. That's for darn sure. Nothing against the International Eagle. That was a great truck, but for some reason, with this one here, I know we got like 20 more horsepower. I think it's the same. It's the same transmission. I think it is. Um, but either way, it seems to pull a little bit easier. Seems kind of weird, but it does. So, external contracts, yep, 65 miles an hour is the max. I kind of forgot where we were money-wise, but this morning you can see we're just shy of 60 grand. And I am recording this just about maybe six or seven hours after the last episode came out. And I did ask the question, should we buy a new garage, upgrade a garage, and basically, uh, just a couple of replies on that so far, is basically upgrade a garage, which is the cheapest way to go to give ourselves two spots so we'll probably end up doing that we're not that far from being able to upgrade it but I'm not gonna bother upgrading it until we can upgrade a garage buy a truck and get ourselves a driver so I've been treating my dr the newer drivers we've been getting like the last three or four been kind of treating them to a better truck than like the baseline uh, the POS models as we like to call it here and if you know what a POS model stands for, piece of stuff. Um, so we'll try. We've been giving them a little bit better vehicles where they can haul better stuff, in theory. Uh, seems to be working, I think. I don't know. I'm not getting that involved into it. 
but a few of you said, yeah, getting a better truck, they can take better loads, which makes sense. So we're going to be giving them trucks that are worth about 140, 150. Upgrading a garage is 75,000. So basically we need about 225,000 in our bank account below before uh, we get ourselves another driver. So got a ways to go and the good thing is we just got the Kenny so we're not going to be talking about trading in the Kenny for a while um, yeah so yeah saving up for 225 thousand somewhere around there but I don't think it's going to take that long I mean the money's been going up rather quickly with the drivers that we got they're, they're doing rather well Maybe even Harry P is doing rather well. Right, so we got our exit coming up here very shortly. I kind of want to get um, these external contracts done. Because like I said, I'm recording this on November 22nd. Uh, somewhere around early December or mid-December, I'm pretty sure they're going to have some kind of a Christmas event to where we got to do deliveries there. Uh, that's what we usually end up doing. So we'll be doing external contracts then as well. So we're just kind of staying a little bit focused there. So if we can knock two off a day, let's uh, see, we should be done on Sunday when the next episode comes out, if all goes well. All right, we only got 73 miles to go and we'll be in Corpus Christi. And then hopefully keep on heading south. Yeah, I still haven't gotten used to the RPMs just yet. The tone that it makes when I need to shift. But I'm starting to get, get the hang of it just a little bit. I do kind of like how it says it's uh, 82 degrees out. I wonder if I was like in Montana in the game right now, what temperature would be. Uh, if you see right below the RPM gauge, it says it's 82 Fahrenheit outside. Still not getting used to it. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like it's that high in our, of an RPM on, on the engine yet. And it's kind of getting there, so. That's only 45 through here. Probably going to slow down to 30. Alright, so when I get to Corpus Christi, I am looking for CMA CGM. Whatever that all stands for. like a bolt launching area. It's like a plane's coming in for landing behind us, or on the side of us. Quick look on the outside in case you didn't see the Kenny last episode. Got a lot of parking lights on top of the roof. I want people to know that we're coming. I do notice though that the lights on the intake or on the air cleaners are not don't seem to be on and the parking lights 
let me just double check this for a second. All my lights are off. Okay, let's turn those on. Oh, there we go. Now, now they're on. Probably getting reset back to the garage. Reset my truck as well, which turned off all my uh, lights everywhere. Good to know that they're on. That way when it gets dark, I don't have to worry about turning them on and uh, getting fined for not having them on. Like I'm zigzagging down here in Corpus Christi. Right, left, right, left. Uh, it says do not enter. Where am I? Oh, down here. A little further. I do like the side mirrors on the Kenny for the W900. Just can't say Kenny because there's a couple different models out there of Kennys. But um, they seem to be, I don't really have to turn my head as much on the track IR to uh, get a good look at it. Drivers are bringing in the cash this morning. We got uh, just a few miles to go here. Should be uh, getting ticked that uh, we just uh, discovered Corpus Christi. Well, this right here reminds me a little bit of Key West, Florida with the bridge and uh, going over the waterway. I think I'm taking this exit. I don't trust traffic around here. I just don't. Don't trust myself either. <laughs> so, it goes hand in hand. Like, uh, it's almost like they're planning an expansion here or something with a bridge and the road being blocked off. A viewpoint here? Okay. There is actually no stop signs here, but we'll stop ish. I'm kind of rolling through. Let me in, please. And it's kind of blinking just a little bit to my right-hand side. At least on the GPS, that's where it's showing me. Oh, I think I see it.
Um, okay. At first, I thought the truck was actually parked in my in my zone, but it's not. It's close. So I got to do a little blind side back and in, which means passenger side, which I just do not like doing. Uh, should put this in R1 because it's gonna be a slow back in. Uh, this this view right here will be kind of like to me getting out of the truck to look to see exactly what I'm doing here. All right, so it's on the other side of the FedEx truck, okay, or the FedEx trailer. Need to be uh, zoomed in on my mirror over there. Can't tell if I'm squeezing around that FedEx trailer or not. I think I am. Problem is, I'm not cutting it enough. At least I'm somewhat in there. I don't have much room in front of me either. Well, let's get my cab kind of squared away here. So focused on trying to get in here, not hit the cab. The shuttle truck, I think some people call it. Oh, I turned the trailer the wrong way. That's not what you want to do. Ooh, uh, luckily I got the bull nose guard on the front. Pull it forward again, get a little bit better. At least I hope. I do like the challenging uh, parking spots. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you choose to do, or do you like this to. Or just like to come on in and park it. Or do the free parking, as some people call it. All right, I'm gonna call that good, squeezing it in there like that. I think it took me like about 20, 30 minutes in, in game time to park that. Got a, two achievements for that and I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and continue. 12 out of 15, perfect. Uh, let's go to job market and of course external contracts. So we are looking for something going to Brownsville, McAllen, Laredo. So, a whole bunch of uh, Western stars here. Let me do the search and see where we're going. Well, I could not find an, ex an external contract going to any cities down here in Southern Texas, but I did find a freight job that'll take us there. And we're going to go pick up some Western Stars and deliver them to, to uh, Brownsville. So I do want to visit every city, so the chances of me getting this down, down far south as we are for a while again, you know, might take some time. So we're down here. So we're going to Brownsville. And it pays rather well, so that's always a bonus. I mean, I only got three more external contracts I need to do. And if I can find one out of Brownsville and go to any of the two cities, that'll count as two of my three more that I need. So that's what I'm hoping for.
It's only just a little ways on down the road, says 20 some odd miles. That was, uh, it seems like the parking uh, situations, if you're on skilled, uh, they're, they're getting to be some interesting ones here and there. Some ones I have not seen before. But then again, we are on a map that, you know, is brand new. Didn't uh, Paul M. just uh, return a couple days ago and couldn't find a job? We might have a couple of Pauls working for us, so that could be what I'm thinking about. I think that was for my loan payment. Oh yeah, there was a Paul F that just uh, completed a delivery, it looks like. It's like a four-way stop, so hopefully AI traffic does stop. Uh, where am I going here? Oops, I think I was supposed to go up that road that was there. I don't think I need to be going to the thrift store. Thought I was turning into here. Wasn't really paying attention. marks up here so one's got to be the Western Star dealership and the other one looks like a recruitment agency uh, it's got to be out back I would assume oh you know what I didn't do is accept a job. I'm so used to taking external contracts, I'm just driving out here to get it. I gotta check in. And it should be this one here. It's like the only one they got. Take the job. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Uh, I thought about backing up all the way, but let's not do that. And I seem to be, be, be picking up red trucks lately. Last set of trucks I delivered were Kenny's that were all red. So we're going to get there just before 2 o'clock. But this is not an external contract, so on the highway we can uh, floor it if we want. I mean, up to the speed limit, of course. Sucker's way. Uh, fifty-two thousand.
On the on-ramp we go. Uh, wait, am I getting right off of this? Alright, yeah, we're going this way. Then swerve to the left. So I think Brownsville is going to be the furthest south city that there is in Texas, at least on this map. So how many miles we got? 131, so up another short little jaunt. I can learn how to park these vehicles better than I did the Kennys. Although they weren't, the, the, you know, the last one I delivered wasn't that bad, was it? I don't think so. I wasn't paying attention. We're almost up to 80 miles an hour. Speed limit's only 65. Here, train somewhere. There is an inspection station up ahead. So, way or no way is the question. I think we're going to get weighed. Find out as soon as we go under this post. Hey, we're getting way today. Oh, the waste station's on the other side. That's kind of cruel. I gotta come in here. Just shy of seventy five thousand. Now I just gotta work my way out of here. Wait, are you? You're not stopping, are you? Dude, you're gonna just screw up. All right, everyone's just, just gonna stop, I guess. I mean, I'm fine with them stopping. Just that I wish they didn't. In a way, not my attention for them to stop, but let's get on down the road, get ourselves down to Brownsville. a short little journey to the next city. Try to 
think I've ever went this far south on the coast to coast map in Texas. And I don't think so. I think we just shot through Texas mostly on the interstates. on the interstate, two truckers taking their time, one passing the other. Don't, you're going to make me, don't, 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 don't brake check me, dude. One thing I haven't looked for, are there any special deliveries like going to like NASA or anything like that? Anything in the Houston? That would be kind of neat if we were delivering like, uh, I don't know. But maybe they'll save that for when we get to Florida really because they don't launch out of Texas. That's usually out of Florida so maybe we'll be, you know, when, when Florida comes around in 2035. Uh, <laughs> We'll have special deliveries to like uh, Cape Canaveral or something like that. Delivering rocket boosters and such. Brownsville. Yeah, so the temperature does change on the dash. I was wondering that. 88 degrees in the afternoon. What do we got going on here? Uh, is that my exit? Of course it is. Alright, let's see what happens when we go around it. So we had about 24 miles left in our journey. And we still have about the same amount of mileage. Apparently. Well, that works out, I guess. Unless GPS is freaking out on me here. Yeah, this is an urgent delivery, by the way, as you can tell now. So, of course, on an urgent delivery, that's when I get an accident on the road. But we're, we're more than fine. Unless, unless we find another one. I don't think this is where I wanted to go. I goofed up. <laughs> now I'm going back. Uh, I think I'm going down here and I'm looping around. Okay, so don't take the loop around. Let's play Ring Around the Rosie here is what I'm going to do.
Alright, so don't take the loop around. So that means I should be in this lane? No, nope, I think I need to be actually in this lane. Just don't take that left-hand turn. Turn left here. Not that left. The next left. Got it. Tell where the western. I'm assuming I'm delivering it to the western star. No, I'm delivering it to a Mersk. Mersk. Not used to that company name. So the background music that you're probably hearing is just because uh, our delivery time is getting awfully close. They expect it by uh, 3.30. So I got like another hour in game time to get it there. Since we're only three miles out, shouldn't be an issue. But I'm trying to stall it by taking loop-de-loops. really focused on the GP GPS I don't need to be taking a wrong turn anywhere because I, I, I'm not going to turn around too easily hauling three uh, western stars behind me and I'm guessing this might be our last delivery of the day because it's going to be 2.30 and to get to another town with an external delivery contract today may be kind of rough and we've been driving late during the day so I got to make up for it once in a while by driving short but we will check on the uh, market to see what's out there maybe it's not that far of a run as I think it is to the next city Coming into a port, it looks like. Um, hello? Oh, wow, you gotta get really close to that gate. Hopefully, it lets me all the way in before the gate closes. Don't expect any traffic in here, but um, could be proven wrong. Construction in here, even. Okay. I guess there is traffic in here. I think I was on the wrong side of the road there. I hope no train comes while I'm trying to get in here.
Should be, I was like, it should be right there somewhere. There we go. Yeah, next time we level up too, I think the only points we got left to put into is fuel economy. But, uh, this is where we are. We are in Brownsville. That is an interesting place for a garage. That, that is an interesting place for a garage way out there. Uh, so the next town over is McAllen. That might be closer than 100 miles. Uh, so Laredo might be the next one. But let me go ahead and check the external contracts. Let me see what we got here. And I've been, uh, been kind of using the search item a little bit more. Make it easier. Okay, so there are external contracts going to McAllen. It's only 76 miles. So that's too close for the external contracts. So let's try Laredo. And no, Laramie. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is I think we're just going to call it here. Because even get up to Laredo, that's. That's going to be probably more than two and a half hours for external contract. McAllen's too close. That's under 100 miles. So hopefully we can take one in the morning from Brownsville to Laredo or Del Rio. Fort Stockton, San, San Angelino. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out next time. Let's see where can we go sleep. At the Home Depot, apparently. All right, let's go sleep at the Home Depot. There's a gas station and uh, rest area right in front of the Home Depot. I get there it's gonna be three o'clock so I'm only missing out in two hours but uh, last you know last day we drove until eight so that was three hours past our time is there no speed limit in here GPS doesn't show any speed limit in here whatsoever. What the heck is that, man? I gotta see what that is. Hang on a second. Parking brake, my neutral. Go external cam here. Oh, they're just birds? Wait, they disappeared. Okay, so they're seagulls, apparently. Yep. I guess they're supposed to be seagulls. Ah, there's some down there. get out of here so I was wrong about being no traffic in here definitely is traffic in here for sure how close you got to get to these things for the open problem with the W900 is your hood is so high up kind of hard to see the gate So don't really know which way we're going t 
tomorrow uh, is either going to be... I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be up the west coast of Texas. Well, we'll figure it out in the morning when we see what's available for jobs. If I can't find one out of Brownsville, then we'll go to McAllen. And I'll check McAllen to see what they got for external contracts. Then after that, we can just zigzag anywhere. Well, zigzag to cities that we haven't been to. Whole bunch of trucks driving on through here. If I get done early, I'll just get out there and go for a walk around Brownsville, see what's going on. Get some exercise in. Oh, I thought this was going to be on the street that it was on, but... Oh, is that a street sweeper? It is. Is that something new? Because I don't think I've... I don't think I've actually seen one before. In the game, that is. Oh! That was... Not, not polite. Let's leave it at that. I think Home Depot is that far away on the map, but I guess it is. Should get right up on this person's bumper for pulling on traffic like that on me. Like I said, this W900 is so, so high up. <laughs> Road rage. So not that bad. We started the day with just what shy of sixty thousand, and we're actually at sixty-seven thousand. And that's with a $6,000 loan payment. I will say Brownsville looks like it's, uh, it's got a little sightseeing to do around here. It's not just one of those one horse town kind of areas. I think my fuel station's over there. Hopefully they got an entrance straight ahead. Hopefully I can go straight then turn left. Snug in here, but I think we'll fit in. Four eighty for diesel down here in Brownsville, Texas. 
and I am running the realistic diesel price mod. Now let's see, where am I parking for... for night nights? do park a brake engine don't go to sleep yeah i'll be getting up awfully early if i did that but brownsville texas where we're at i'll uh do a little bit of tidying up in the in the kenny even though i had a couple days still trying to unpack from the international eagle to here gotta unpack my bag in the back seat but uh, everything is looking good and no scratches on it as of yet even though the, i hit the bull nose on that fence line this morning it all looks good nice and clean so yeah let's go ahead and i want to see how my driver is doing in harry p and what he's been doing the last couple of days and show the log so 3300 3300 so he is up to uh at least over he's he's over two dollars a mile now before he was down like well like this driver up here is down to 130. show log oh they had one of those trips where they turned with no delivery so that kind of kills you doesn't it yeah that, that'll, that'll hurt your profit quite a bit uh overall though our company's doing rather well in a seven day uh span we are bringing in one hundred fifty thousand dollars. so six times seven is like uh forty five thousand of that is going to loan payments so we're er, you know we're we're in the positive by a hundred grand so if we go by that within about 14 episodes, which I don't think it's going to be that long before we get up to like 225,000, I don't think it's going to be that long, but we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. And I got three more deliveries to make and uh, yeah, we're almost there, but that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy, but until then... Have a good one.